Well, for travelers, these delays come after an already rough holiday season with a different computer issue earlier this month to system-wide problems with Southwest at the end of December. 10 Tampa Bay's Blake Rankin is talking with some frustrated passengers about how they're dealing with it all. Nearly every flight here was affected by the FAA's system crash. The passengers I chatted with here at TPA all had at least an hour's worth of delays. But many say in comparison to the recent holiday flights fiasco, a few hours isn't so bad. Uh-oh, it looks like all the, all the flights are canceled. I don't know, we'll, keep, we'll, we'll go and we'll see what happens. All that red is delay after delay, and it had a lot of people wondering how long it'd last and what to do next. Was I going to go back to my sister's house? Was I going to get a hotel room here and where the hotel room is filled up? What were we going to do? Some travelers learned about the FAA system failure as they were about to take off. We went back to the gate, took a little while to get our gate. Um, we got off the plane, but only about half an hour, less than an hour later, they called us back to board. We reboarded and we took off. Four hours worth of delays had Matt Jones wondering just how big an issue a system glitch is. You know, if, if an FAA system is not working and it malfunctions like that, it has to be rebooted, that's not great. I mean, we should invest in our critical infrastructure systems in order to have things work properly. Despite delays, passengers were staying positive, happy to see flights are mostly only delayed, not canceled. No, I'm kind of one of those. It is what it is. You take your risk. But it's Florida. Who wants to leave Florida? At TPA, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay.